The Timbers have added yet more depth to the midfield with the loan signing of 19-year-old Cristian Paredes. But who is he? Today we find out. Welcome back new and returning viewers, I hope you're having a fantastic weekend, but to make it just a little bit better, today I'm bringing you guys another player profile video, this time on our latest signing Paraguayan midfielder, Christian Paredes. So in today's video we'll be taking a closer look into the 19 year old's player and performance data that he's accumulated in his career so far, I'll also be throwing in some highlights here and there and talking about where I see him fitting in at the Portland Timbers. So about the signing itself, well the Timbers have acquired Paredes from Mexico's Liga and Mex side at Club America on loan for the 2018 season with a purchase option at the end of it. This is the second time that the Timbers have made a loan signing like this prior to the 2018 season. Go back just a few weeks and the Timbers did exactly the same thing with Peruvian winger Andy Polo, speaking of whom a player profile is coming soon. So let's get some personal information on Cristian Fabian Paredes. He was born in the city of Paraguari on the 18th of May 1998, making him 19 years old. He stands exactly 6 feet tall and weighs 155 pounds and on the field his positions are central and defensive midfielder and lastly he will occupy an international slot on the Timbers roster. Moving on to take a look at the history of his playing career so far. In a nutshell, the 19-year-old Paraguayan has made over 30 professional appearances as well as representing Paraguay on the national stage at various age groups, including the senior side. His career began in Paraguay as a youth player for Club Sol de América and at the age of 18 was given his professional debut featuring in a 2-1 win over Club Olimpia. This professional debut came after Paredes was involved heavily in Paraguay's under-17 side across multiple tournaments, one of which was the FIFA under-17 World Cup in 2015, of which he scored a headed goal against France in the group stages, of which we have a clip of now. His league debut for America was the start of a good run of appearances and his first goal for the club came in a 3-3 draw at General Caballero, of which we have a clip of now. During the 2016 season, Christian scored 4 goals in a total of 36 appearances. Something that should be mentioned is that of those games, he was subbed off the field 23 times, maybe highlighting a weakness in stamina or a drop in quality as games go on. As 2016 came to an end, so did the midfielder's time in Paraguay. It was confirmed in early January 2017 that the then 18-year-old will be heading to Mexico to join Liga and Mex side Club de Fútbol América. However, over the past year, Christian only made a total of two appearances, with both coming in the league's domestic cup, of which they finished as runners-up. But as for Liga MX, he sat on the bench eight times and failed to get any game time. Despite this lack of game time, he still managed to get a goal in one of his two appearances. It came in a 2-1 cup defeat away to Santos Laguna, who former Timbers man Jorge Villafaña was playing for at the time. His goal was a pretty clutch 90th minute equaliser, but in the end wouldn't matter as straight after the restart Laguna went down the other end and got the winner. But nonetheless, here's a clip of his goal now. No, está dando un buen partido nada más. Y es su debut. Oribe, Peralta, para Paredes, el disparo, el gol del América. Intervención en primera instancia del guardameta Jonathan Orozco. Sin embargo, la pelota le queda servida. Acompaña la jugada, lo hace de manera intuitiva este hombre para empujarla, darle el paso. Being still only 19 and a developing player, he needs game time and he was getting barely any. Therefore, the club and his agent started looking elsewhere. And when the Timbers came knocking, Christian admits in a recent interview with the Oregonian that he let his agent handle most of it. Uh, but when he heard the idea of the Timbers showing interest, he really liked the sound of a move. Then on February the 2nd, 2018, the Timbers announced that he'd be joining the squad for the 2018 season. General Manager Gavin Wilkinson said on the subject, Heading into the off-season, our goal was to identify young, talented players that can help the club achieve both its immediate and future aspirations. 
We believe Christian is a player that has the ideal skill set to benefit the organisation for many years and we look forward to his contributions. From this, it seems as though he sees Christian as a possible backup for either central midfield position this season, but looking further down the line, he'll be a starter in seasons to come. Head coach Gio also had his say on the signing, stating, At just 19 years of age, Christian has already displayed his technical and physical qualities across multiple competitions in South America and Central America and has very good tactical understanding for his age. We look forward to integrating Christian with the team during preseason and continuing his progression and development as a player over the course of the year. So earlier in the video I talked about Christian's interview with the Oregonian, I'll also touch upon it here. In the interview he said that he was influenced to move to Portland by all of the Spanish talking players and coaching staff that are already at the club. You know this offseason we've had a lot of South American Spanish talking players come to the club and with uh, Gio, head coach, also being uh, fluent in Spanish, it's really going to help developing players. You know, we brought in a lot of young players this offseason specifically, so I'm really intrigued to see how Gio will be able to uh, touch into them with his Spanish speaking knowledge and his South American, I know, play style and get the best out of them over the next few seasons. So, fingers crossed, he can develop all the young players as we have a lot of young talent. Only just last night, the Timbers had their first preseason game in Tucson. Yes, I said Tucson, not Tuscon or Tucson, I know I got it wrong in the, in the last video, I do apologise, but nonetheless the Timbers lost 2-1, the first 45 minutes consisted of both teams putting out quite strong teams and then the second 45 they played young, younger, you know, more throw together teams, Christian was one of the players involved for the Timbers, one of many new faces and you know, he showed a few good touches here and there and overall looked like a composed midfielder. Lastly in today's video I'll end by talking about where I see Paredes fitting in at the Timbers. I'm just going to keep it sweet and short. Gavin Wilkinson kind of mentioned it already. I see him being a backup player for the central midfield positions, either the 6 or 8. As you know, he's got that height advantage in the defensive position, but he also likes to get forward. He said in the interview, he likes to get forward and score goals. So who knows? He could play either the 6 or the 8. So that is going to bring us to the end of the video, guys. I hope it's not too long and that I've kept you entertained. If you did like it, let me know below in the comment section or drop a like. That would be awesome. Thank you all for the support so far. I think we're on 295 subscribers, almost at the 300. So get sharing, Timbers fans. Let everybody else know that, you know, there's a channel here giving you the in-depth analysis of players and games. But nonetheless, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you in the next video, wherever that may be. Hopefully an Andy Polo player profile. But yes, see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.